Well, hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video here in the Bedrock Small World. Uh, so, we're currently wandering out. Actually, that reminds me. We're currently wandering out of the mines, uh, slash where my bed is, to head back on our ultimate project of building a wall around the entire world. And then also wall, and then also uh, preserving the jungle. So that's the; those are the last two things we have to really do. I think, I think the jungle's the last wall we're gonna have to build. I don't think we're gonna have to build anything for the Rocky Mountains. I think those are done. Rocky Mountains, the mountains. I think those are done. Uh, the uh, taiga biome that's done. We finished that last time. I think it's all stuff. This is the jungle. I really wasn't looking for the jungle. The, to be fair, our jungle isn't, you know, the most treacherous thing to navigate. Um, you know, and it's not the biggest thing in the world. You know, the actual, like, full-size jungles you'd normally get are much more difficult to navigate than what we've got here. Uh, but you will see quickly, once we get over there, that it's not easy <laughs> at all to navigate. It's not easy to get to. There's no easy way to get there thanks to the freaking mountains being in the way and there's no easy way to get over the mountains, so. The rivers make it easy, but the rivers don't really connect that well with each other and so uh, you often find yourself walking anyways. So, yeah. Uh, this is where we took the thumbnail, so we've come full circle already. Uh, so... The wall came down and back up, and we are on the other side. We're actually just up this hill, so we've got to figure out how to get up there. I will say the jungles, if the vines are in the right spot, can make climbing mountains a lot easier. Like I said, this isn't the most difficult jungle. It's still just its more challenging than it needs to be. We have cocoa beans. I was going to say, I was going to say, this world does have cocoa beans. We do need to make a cocoa bean farm at some point. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just, can we, thank you. Yeah, we'll just keep going at this and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Not going to get a lot of grinding in tonight. It's Wednesday. I uh, got home super late from work, so it's pretty late already in the day. Uh, interjection here. What the heck is this? This is some broken water, if I've ever seen it. What? Thank you, Minecraft Small Worlds. Without a small world, you don't get something like this. The game is usually much more stable than that. Huh. We're almost to the corner here. I'd say we pretty much are at the corner of the world. I was thinking every corner of this world was water, but this one and the one directly all the way across from it are not. Interesting. Well, let's take a nap here, shall we? I don't think I've ever taken a sleep this close to the edge of the world before. It's weird. So weird here. Staring off into nothing. Look at that. It's nothing. Ugh. Not a fan. Okay. Uh, please, Minecraft gods, do not kill me when I wake up from this. Please, just don't. It's not how I want to go. Just please. Just gonna wait for it to get dark. Come on. Come on, son. It's so weird you can't tell when it gets below the horizon because there is no horizon. Ah, there's the stars. 
Let's see what happens. Am I going to end up on the edge of the world? Uh, nope. Okay, good. We're not going to die. Awesome. Back to work, I guess. Well, that's going to complicate things. Oh, my God. Oh, why? Why does it have to be like this? Oh, we might have to go get scaffolding for that. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we can finish the pond because we've got kelp. Yes, and I bought a bunch of tropical fish. We can fill the pond with those. <laughs> but oh my god, this is the best day ever. Let's put the tropical fish in here. But oh, kelp. Thank god we have kelp now. We can finish that project. Uh, that's not today's mission, though. Today's mission is still to work on the wall and the fence, but I don't have... I have some scaffolding, but I have no string. None. Whatsoever. But I've got string in other places. Okay, here we are for our usual uh, narration. So in the background, uh, you see me completing the wall around the world, and I'm climbing up and down these mountains using scaffolding because there really was no other way. I mean, holy crap. It, it's just, it was just this sheer cliff face like this. It wasn't happening, my guys. It's just, I wasn't going to pull this off. And actually, I, I'm, I'm, so previously, I'm just like trying to use like all the footage and then just like speed up like two or three thousand percent or whatever. In this case, I'm just making it double and then just cutting stuff off. It, I, it's harder for me to render when you when I speed up and stuff. I learned my lesson Wednesday or Tuesday night when I was trying to render Wednesday's video. Anyways, yeah, so this video uh, actually didn't end up being that much shorter. You'll see at the end of the video, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to be shorter. Not not really. After this narration and, you know, after the little uh, time lapse with the uh, music, it really doesn't end up being shorter. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? The project's done, right? I mean, obviously, the wall around the world is not done. I, I, I don't even think we're halfway. We might be halfway. There's, there's a whole other side, there's one side done, and we might be close. I mean, so, as for what the next project is, because we finished a project, uh, it's kind of weird to say we finished one, I guess the next project is the lake, and then also uh, the lake, and the wall around the world, and then the the park that will encompass the lake uh which i guess does that count as part of the lake or i don't know those are the next projects we're going to try and complete all the while in the background we're going to be trying and getting stuff from the wandering trader i just realized i have nine dark oak saplings so i guess at some point we need to go and level off a big area and turn it into a tree production area because again you know we don't the tree, the, the trees in this world, they're a finite resource, and they'll kind of at some point we want to wipe them all out, take what we've got. Uh, also, at some point, I want to try and get some glow squid into the lake. I think that'll be really cool. Try and get them in there. That'll be a challenge. I don't even, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. But you know, stay tuned. We'll figure it out. Probably a lead and like a little canal or some sort. God, that's gonna make such a mess. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, I'll, I'll want to get, like, a glow, some glow squid, some regular squid. We'll have to give them some name tags, so I will have to go fishing. Uh, and then I've got all of those tropical fish. I can't put any axolotls in it, but I can certainly put some salmon. Uh, we won't be able to get any cod. Mm, 
Maybe. I'll have to go hunting for cod. I think cause we do have a, a bit of deep ocean in the world uh, to get cod for it. But uh, that's another video for another day, another conversation. I'll let you get back to you watching me do things in the background. Okay. Bye. Oh my gosh, there's axolotls. And this drown is kicking their butts. And I just got regen from these. Hello, my friends. Oh, they just killed that fish. Uh, so how do you tame these? I I'm forgetting how you do that. Do you give them fish? No? Are they just my friends now? Oh, there goes the salmon. Huh, I don't have any... Oh, I do have a bucket. Wait, I want... I got an achievement. Oh, I'm gonna drown. I want one of these axolotls. I got one! In a bucket, yeah! Well, I don't want to put them in my, uh, in my pond, because they'll kill my tropical fish that I spent many emeralds on. So, I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. So, welcome to our makeshift kelp farm here. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I couldn't believe it. When I saw that the wandering trader was giving away, was selling kelp, I was so excited. Because now it means that we can get that lake project finished. Uh, I mean, we could conceivably do it in this episode. I mean, honestly, this jungle fence that I'm working on at the moment is not going to take that long to finish. Uh, but, I mean, if we finish a project in one episode, why not just, you know, give it a rest for the week and then we can come back and do something later. Ooh, there's more kelp. Ugh. What, what are we caught on? Move, salmon. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Bedrock and their jungle sapling drop rates are just amazing. I've never... I've never had tree jungle trees drop this many saplings in my life. Never. And I hate that Bedrock doesn't have the jump uh, mine. Like, Java, on Java, you can jump and mine things. Okay, I guess that time it worked. But see, like, on Java, I'd be able to mine that, since I am able to hit it. But, oh well. As I'm jumping. Doesn't matter. Point is, we got all the, we got more than enough saplings. We can go put them away. Keep them safe. We don't want to make trees extinct that we don't want to extinct. Not yet, anyways. Like, once we're done with the jungle, I mean, they're virtually extinct in my eyes. When did we get so many dark oak saplings? I don't remember that. Alright, let's make a good number of sticks here for some fences. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. I... Ugh. Yay. Yowzers. That made a lot of sticks. Okay, and then fences. Why does it do that? It's such a weird glitch. Okay, that used up like all of my jungle wood, but that's fine. I shouldn't. This is honestly more fen jungle fences than I'll need. Uh, <laughs> way more than I'll need. I honestly needed more just jungle planks, but nevertheless, let's head into the jungle. And, uh, get some stuff done. I was trying to do, uh, what, what's this? Welcome to the jungle. That's what I was trying to imitate, but it, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Clearly. 
<laughs> Welcome to the jungle. It's... I, I don't even know how the song da goes. I'm an I'm an embarrassment. Truth be told, I can't be that big of an embarrassment because you ever see those TikToks where people are like, I mean, if they're real, you never know. People lie on the internet all the time. But there's always those TikToks of the people who are like, react, like, oh, put a finger down edition, like, do you know the song or whatever. And you have these Zoomers, you know, my generation going up there and just straight up just not knowing songs. Like, uh, uh, what song? Like, I kind of think of a song, like, they, like, I, they knew Jesse's Girl, but, like, everybody knows Jesse's Girl. If you don't know Jesse's Girl, you're living under a rock. Uh, if we can get to that vine, that'll get us, like, 90% of the freaking way up there. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh. That would have been, that scared me. The random vines everywhere. They make traversing jung uh jungles. Can we I wanna jump on this block. On this block. Thank you. So okay, be careful. There's mobs still spawn around here and I tried to take care of the issue. Didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna go up this way. Oh, well, not sure how I'm gonna fence around this, but I mean, does this count as a fence if we're 10 blocks in the air? I think so. And we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the parks. They're done. So, you know, uh, we come through here. We enter the jungle, which it's very weird shaped. You know, it follows this river, right? And you can see it go along the side of the mountain over there. But here's the edge of the world here. This is really cool. I think it turned out very interesting in the way that we follow the landscape there and I don't know could have done better but I mean it is what it is oh, we, we climb up these vines here this is a very cool area I think best part of the jungle right here at least top 10 anyways now 
I need some cocoa beans. All right, there were some of these trees in here that have cocoa beans. Ah, there we go. I'll take some of you. And we'll replant you as if nothing happened, and uh, we'll sleep here in the jungle one more night. And uh, I think we're going to be good. I guess, uh, I mean, I guess this is the end of the episode, technically. Well, no, okay, I, I tell you what. I do have one more park. One more park I want to do. Uh, this is, so as we're all these are more or less preserving beauty, like uh, natural beauty, this park is actually uh, completely man-made. It's going to be by the lake. Although I think this is going to take two episodes. I mean, I could probably complete the lake in this episode as well if I really, 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 really wanted to, which I really, really don't. I mean, I'll do some grinding maybe. But at the same time, it's like, I got everything I wanted to achieve done in this uh, episode. I only need to grind for, like, a few hours or whatever it was. Can we just... Thank you. So, it's like, eh, not much. Not much. Yeah, so we're going to go harvest the kelp. Need to make a kelp farm at some point, I guess. Because, you know, just spreading along the bottom of the river here isn't exactly uh, the greatest thing in the world. That was weird. Why I did that? Kelp. It's one of those things, right? Once you have, a, you know, a few pieces of it, you you have enough forever. But it's just the fact that this world didn't have any. Now we have it. It's kind of, you know, we've introduced a new species into the world, which will let us complete. I mean, honestly, the lake, right, with the dam and stuff is, for all intensive purposes, it is complete. Right? Like, no one's ever going to be able to really tell, unless we put fish in it, that there's no... that they're not source blocks, right? No one, no one's going to know. No, no, one, no one's going to be able to tell. This will be our uh, cocoa bean farm. Might as well, right? Can't hurt anything. Because mobs... Well, I guess a mob could technically climb up this and get into the villager pen, but if we build it higher, they won't be able to, in theory. I don't think you can use cocoa beans as a ladder, or at least mobs can't anyways. And once we spawn-proof everything a bit more, we'll be fine. Yes, but the next park is going to be over here, and I don't really want to work on it today. Uh, I mean, we can go work on the kelp part of it, because this, this has really deep water, and we can really get the kelp going so basically that this is what we're doing just placing kelp on top of kelp this this is not Wow, this, if there's anything that's going to take a while, it is this. Oh my gosh. I don't think we need to go all the way to the top with it. Uh, 
thing is, right, because it's not source blocks, so it doesn't... That's weird. So you don't, you don't swim like you normally would through it. It's weird. I don't like it. It's very annoying. Ugh. You can't swim in it. Uh, unfortunately, this will mean that we will have to get rid of our, uh, our poor, all the sea, all the grass that's down here, it's all gonna have to go. Wow, I didn't realize just how dark this, uh, this area gets, wow. It's very dark, actually. It's pretty deep water for a just a little lake here, you know. This sh this should grow, in theory. Well, you cannot go down. And back up. Eh. Wow, this would be very difficult without respiration. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You see how the, the kelp doesn't want to go. There. You know what? We'll leave it at this. We'll let this stuff grow, hopefully. Oh, yeah, or it's growing. Ah, perfect. We'll go take the thumbnail photo, and then we'll just call it good. We didn't do a lot this episode. Honestly, I don't expect it to be that long when I go to uh, do all my talking over stuff. And, I, you know, I'll talk about, you know, it being shorter and that kind of stuff. I guess it's kind of fitting, right? You know, uh, the, the new style started on this series and it started really long and now you know we're seeing that fruition where it's like you know we finished the project right there's nothing else to do there's nothing else that needs to be done oh my god why did I go this way I can't I know I can't get up this Tam mountain it's like I know this but like the stupid rat in the cage with a button I'm gonna keep hitting the freaking button despite the fact that I Despite the fact that no food continues to come out of it. You know, I'm gonna keep it in the damn button. Knowing full well that I'm not gonna be able to get over the mountain this way. We have to go around the mountains. These, these mountains. It's the reason. It's, it's a good thing we don't... Hopefully, anyway. Good God. <laughs> there's, the, there's a good reason why we're fencing off the mountains. There's no reason for us to ever go through them, around them, or... There's no reason for us to ever come back here. The only reason why we want to go back here is to look at the beauty. But, you know, once we get an elytra or whatever, we just fly over it. You know, we can land in here like a helicopter. We don't... No one needs to come back here, right? It's just unnecessary. It's very difficult to get back in here. Oh. Uh... Actually, this is this is this is like the this isn't much of a thumbnail, but I mean it works, right? Maybe we'll just reverse it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we reverse this, it'll look much better. Anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, new Small World Let's Plays every single Monday, 11 a.m. such a time, and good night. Hello there! Actually, it's more of a goodbye. Um, this is my Minecraft outro. Anyways, make sure you subscribe so that we can hit our, our uh, 10k goal so we can plant 100 trees for subs for trees. Otherwise, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet, sweet watch time.